kotor lah. Salam sejahtera tuan-tuan dan perempuan Nama saya Hans Abdullah Hans Abdullah Hans Abdullah Hans Abdullah Dan selamat kembali kepada channel streetwear paling sampah di YouTube Channel Hans Abdullah Baby So, korang dah nampak tajuk video ni Tapi sebelum kita get into the main content of this video Aku nak unbox ada few things aku nak unbox sikit First up, aku dapat package ni dari DHL From La Sista Enterprise Let's go Hans Abdullah, nama aku Alamat tidak silap Aku tak ada gunting dalam bilik ini Tapi aku ada Kunci fragment aka kunci tangga kejayaan Ya yeah. Bang, it's a hat from La Sista Sneakers I shall wear this hat throughout this video Ada, what do you call this? Keychain? Lanyard? Ada, free gift Thank you La Sista Sneakers, I appreciate you Thank you for showing me love And for showing me love, I'ma show you love Bend the bill, bend the bill Done, okay Another thing I wanna open just because why not? I just got this today It's this box Tapi dalam dia ada dua kasut dia And dua-dua bukan kasut aku First ones are these Janoskis from my boy Fahim Nice I hope he doesn't mind me showing off his shoes Boom, we got some nice cream colored Janoskis that is not for me And we got a uh, fragment crease for Victor Someone I can't name, aku tak boleh bagi nama But someone sent us about 10 pairs for free So shout out to you, you know who you are Thank you for taking care of the boys Thank you for taking care of the team This is Victor's pair My pair is not here My pair aku simpan ke tempat lain But yes sir Thank you so much Appreciate, I gotta show that off Just because kita dapat for free So thank you Thank you Now to the main topic of the video Aku sebenarnya tak nak buat video ni Aku sebenarnya memang tak ada plan nak buat video ni Sebab aku rasa macam siapa yang kisah sangat pasal aku punya opinion kan Aku ingat man mana diorang kisah diorang pasal aku punya opinion on what is the top sneaker of the year Sengit pula kamera aku Ui. Tapi sebab ramai orang tanya aku fikir okay lah let's just let's just do it Tapi aku takkan buat top 10 sebab aku rasa Orang tak kisah sangat pasal top 10 Orang cuma nak tahu apa number 1 je Kalau aku buat top 10 Korang akan skip terus pergi number 1 kan So I'ma just go straight to number 1 Dalam pendapat aku Apakah sneaker of the year Aku rasa sneaker of the year ada dua. Tapi beza dia macam ni One of them Aku rasa patut jadi sneaker of the year Tapi aku tak suka kasut tu The other one is my personal favourite sneaker of the year Also shout out PKL so aku akan start by saying kasut yang pertama tu Kasut yang aku rasa patut jadi sneaker of the year Walaupun aku tak suka sangat kasut tu Aku tak boleh deny yang kasut ni adalah sneaker of the year And that shoe is the Air Jordan 1 High Dior It's not my favourite shoe Tapi kau tak boleh deny yang kasut ni memang deserves the number one spot Because, because, because of the significance of it Kasut ni macam dia buat cultural reset tau so a while back, kadang-kadang kalau aku beli kasut mahal kan Semua orang tanya aku Hans, macam mana kau sanggup spend that much on a shoe? Hans, kenapa kau boleh macam ni? Hans, kenapa kau gila sangat belanja beribu ringgit on a pair of sneakers? Tetapi, dengan kedatangan Air Jordan 1 Dior ni Tiba-tiba, okay pula untuk orang spend 40,000, 50,000 ringgit on a shoe Tiba-tiba mindset semua orang berubah Tiba-tiba, benda tu menjadi perkara biasa Aku nampak ramai orang beli kasut ni dekat harga resell And Aku fikir, eh, dulu korang yang kutuk aku Tetapi tiba-tiba korang pula spend harga my V atas kasut So you see, kasut ni, impact kasut ni Dia tukar the mindset of a lot of sneaker heads Dia tukar mindset of a lot of collectors Kasut ni deserves to be at the top Just because of the impact in that sense also because it is a Dior collaboration with a Jordan which is insane you know you know we got a basketball shoe and a high end brand it's nuts aku rasa kasut ni memang deserve a spot at the top tetapi kenapa aku tak suka sangat kasut ni actually kalau aku cakap aku tak suka pun bohong ah because i love Dior i love Jordans bila kau gabung dua-dua tu kau orang fikir man itu macam kasut idaman aku patutnya tu menjadi kasut idaman aku tetapi harga tu man Retail dia about what? It's less than 11,000 About 10,500 ringgit aku rasa harga retail Tetapi Harga resell is about RM45,000 RM45,000 ringgit Okay? And walaupun mahal Masalah 
utama kasut ni bukanlah pada harga dia tetapi kepada kuantiti dia sebab kasut ni adalah numbered kasut ni ada nombor kat dalam dia tulis kat situ 8500 pasang saja dalam dunia 8500 pasang ingat nombor tu aku akan letak that number somewhere on the screen just so that korang boleh ingat nombor tu 8500 pasang saja dalam dunia and Jordan kadang-kadang akan menipu sikit ah they have a few pairs yang tak ada number just for like you know untuk staff dia orang ke untuk Michael Jordan himself aku rasa takkan ada number so let's say maybe no, the actual amount is 8600 ah but just for the sake of this video kita akan buat 8500 8500 market value are 45000 what is my problem there my problem there is 8500 tu bukan limited tau 8500 tu bukan kuantiti yang limited tau Seriously, 8500 tu is actually a lot of pairs It's not limited at all Dulu aku punya sekolah menengah Sesi pagi, ada aku rasa 1200 orang 8500 pasang adalah 7 kali ganda sekolah aku Maksud dia, time perhimpunan aku tu You know all those people yang kau nampak tu Yeah, the amount of people in the world that is wearing the Air Jordan 1 Dior High Is 7 kali ganda that amount 7 kali ganda kau ni perhimpunan tu That is not limited. Korang pergi pavilion, like no joke. Hari tu aku pergi pavilion, aku nampak dua orang pakai kasut ni. Dua orang. Aku tak tahu legit ke fake. Tapi let's assume that it is legit. Sebab kita nak bersangka baik kan. Let's just say berdendi legit. Kau pergi pavilion, kau nampak dua orang pakai. Tak limited tu. Okay, aku nak preface ni dengan ni. Kalau kau sanggup spend that much, kalau kau tak kisah, good on you. More power to you. Aku tak kecam kau. Aku cuma cakap sebab kenapa aku tak beli. Aku tak kecam kau. You know what? More power to you. If you love the shoe, go for it. I respect that. I respect you. I'm not here to diss you, man. I'm not here to tell you that your opinion is wrong. I'm just saying why I, why I cannot justify paying that much. Sebab aku tak dapat kasut tu untuk retail. Kalau retail, RM10,500 aku sanggup. Aku sanggup. Because it is a Dior shoe, not a Jordan shoe. So the quality is Dior quality, not Jordan quality. So RM10,500 tu aku rasa worth it lagi. RM45,000 aku rasa tak worth it. Kasut dream aku is the AJ3 Soulfly. That is my dream shoe. Aku rasa kasut tu less than 500 pairs made. Okay, less than 500 pairs. Harga dia market value maybe about RM25,000. So it's like half the price. Tetapi... Way lesser quantity, you know? I cannot justify spending RM45,000 ringgit on a shoe yang banyak sangat quantity macam tu. I'm sorry to say, but that's my opinion. Kalau korang suka, kalau korang sanggup, that's on you. Good job. Aku takkan kecam. Aku respect that. I respect that. I seriously respect that. Aku actually suka that a lot more people is spending money on sneakers. I like that. I love seeing people buying good shoes. I just love seeing it. I'm happy for you. Whenever you buy a good shoe, I'm happy for you. Because I like to see that. I like to see the community grow that way. That's why I think that sneaker, even though bukannya dalam aku punya cita rasa, that sneaker deserves to be in the number one spot. But let's say my personal preference, kasut mana yang aku sendiri rasa is my personal number one sneaker of the year. For me, my personal sneaker that released dalam tahun 2020 adalah Bang. Hello. The store exclusive Kashina Dunks. Kenapa aku rasa let's like, aku ambil satu side je Busan ke Seoul. Aku nak Busan ke Seoul. Jom pergi Seoul sebab aku rindu Seoul. Shout out to my Korean homie, shout out to Gambo, shout out to Rudy, shout out to Stack House, shout out to Belum. You see these why do I think these are the sneaker of the year for me? Sebab dalam tahun ni kasut ni lah bagi aku kasut yang paling susah untuk aku dapat. So Kashina, Kashina tu adalah kedai dekat Korea. And Kashina dapat dua kasut collaboration tahun ni. Yang ni, yang hijau ni and This one, the blue pair. Kasut ni memang susah nak dapat. Kalau kau tidak berada di Korea, especially tahun ni kita tak boleh travel kan. Kalau korang tak berada di dalam Korea, time kasut ni release memang susah. Kasut ni yang biru adalah Korea exclusive. Memang cuma boleh dapat kat Korea. And kasut ni lagi rare. These are Kashina exclusive. Which means kau cuma boleh dapat kasut ni dekat kedai Kashina sahaja. Ni bukan aku cakap apa-apa eh. So it's really hard to deal with a Korean. Sebab dia orang tak nak jual kepada orang yang bukan dalam Korea. Kasut ni aku dah kena flake 5 kali waktu aku nak cuba beli 5 kali, 5 kali hati aku pecah 5 kali hati aku disappointed Tapi akhirnya I managed to get both pairs And between the two, aku lebih suka yang ni Macam mana aku dapat yang biru dan yang hijau dalam saiz aku Which is really hard to find, saiz 12 Macam mana aku boleh dapat 
well I was lucky, I was blessed I was technically gifted these two pairs Technically aku tak bayar apa-apa langsung untuk kasut-kasut ni Technically Time tu aku nak bayar RM5,000 for this pair And they said no But itu adalah rezeki aku But in the end I managed to get them for almost nothing So shout out to you You know who you are Yes sir This because of the story of this shoe Because of how hard it was for me to get this shoe This is my number one sneaker of the year Kenapa aku tak buat review kasut ni? Kau mungkin tanya Hans, kalau kasut ni sneaker of the year kau Kenapa kau tak buat review kasut ni? Sebab aku tak sempat nak buat review aku dah pakai Aku tak sabar sangat nak Aku tak sabar sangat nak pakai Aku dapat je aku terus pakai Aku macam aku tak suka buat review kasut dan dah terpakai But because aku tak sabar sangat nak pakai kasut ni Aku dapat terus pakai So aku tak boleh buat review kasut ni That's that's how it goes That's the story So to recap Long story short Dalam pendapat aku Apakah kasut sneaker of the year aku Aku rasa The Air Jordan 1 Dior Should be on everyone's list As sneaker of the year If not number one At least somewhere on the list Kalau kau tak ada kasut tu on your list Aku rasa maybe a little bit biased Maybe you being a little bit biased Tetapi For me personally These are my number one I love these shoes Tapi kalau korang curious What is my top 10 Here it is I'ma leave it on screen Right here This is my top 10 But I just skip straight to number one Sebab aku rasa korang pun macam Tak interested sangat nak duduk Macam setengah jam dengar aku cakap pasal each of these shoes kan So yeah that's it That's the video That is in my opinion The top sneaker or sneakers of 2020 I am Hans Abdullah Like the video if you like the video Subscribe if you want to see more videos I'll see you in the next video baby